What's up everyone? We're here to do Argent Knight Artemis' gameplay and um, as you can see I've upgraded everything except for the Robert Perry B. I think I ran out of planetary tokens so eh, it's just one level anyway and it's not even like a really offensive passive for that uh, piece of equipment. So yeah, that that's pretty much her at full offensive power. So I'm also going to showcase the Vermilion Knight's new costume and maybe one or two others if I have the need to squeeze anyone else in. Because you know how the Direxie is, sometimes they're immune, I mean not immune, resistant to certain elements and they take more damage from certain other elements. So I'm kind of lucky that the first stage is like normal and doesn't have any weird conditions. So yeah. So, um, this is definitely a good chance to be showing off some stuff that the Argent Knight can do. And let's hope that they don't have too many ice resistant stages. Alright, so in the Direct C we start every fight with 90 SP and that is really good for the three of them because uh, Phoenix will have to charge like 10 SP which is really easy and then she can use her ultimate. But the Argent and Vermilion Knight can use their ultimate as soon as the battle starts. And in case you're wondering what the Argent Knight ultimate does, so it says increases ignore interrupt so you don't get like you don't flinch as often as you would. Not that she actually does anyway. Uh, you also receive 60% less damage from any source. And it increases the ice damage from your basic attacks. Also, when the enemies have two hypothermia stacks, and that's the orb that you see on them, um, the fifth attack of your basic attack sequence will activate it and turn them, uh, or rather put them in an ice cell. If you are not in the burst mode, you will have to use a charge attack to do that. Also, her charge attack changes in the burst mode. It seems to be really strong. It summons that spirit that's behind her. So yeah, you, you should use it more often when you're in the burst mode. And anyway, you know, for the hypothermia stacks, it pretty much works like the Sakuna Rondo, where when she's in her burst mode, you activate the Sakura brands passively, but when she's not in her burst mode, you have to activate them manually. So that pretty much gives you an idea of how it works. Alright, so aside from Rita, this Phoenix Vermilion Knight combo has been working out pretty well because the Phoenix can activate the Vermilion Knight QTE and, you know, she increases elemental damage. So that's really advantageous for both Argent Knight and Vermilion Knight, but I think Vermilion Knight has been dealing more damage despite this stage not favoring any element. So I think I'm just gonna say that I don't think I know the specific set of moves to like bring out the potential of the Argent Knight at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm really just figuring her out. And uh, if you guys like know any cool comp- Whoa! She like instantly deleted that zombie. Wow. Oh, by the way, the spirit behind her, it's called Crescent Harvest. And it can be summoned by teammates when they use combo or charge attacks and it has a 12 second cooldown and it can also be summoned by the Argent Knight herself and that one has a 6 second cooldown. Alright, so we have that shielded Honkai Beast and uh, you know, if you really hate it, I would say that the Argent Knight is the perfect battle suit to be used against it. Here we go with the burst mode! And let's see if I can pull this off. It, I think the ultimate evasion also triggers like a hu Oh my god, did you see that? That was the weapon skill and uh, the charge attack. Uh, being activated at the same time. So like I was saying, the ultimate evasion also triggers like a really huge attack from the Crescent Harvest, but that was cool too. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the update summary, they changed the animation for Monet uh, 2 set. So this is how it looks like right now. Pretty cool I guess, but uh, no, I don't think everyone would like it. Personally, I feel that either one was okay. 
So yeah, it doesn't really affect me. Oh yeah, really working that fire damage bonus. Also, if you notice, the new Valkyrie Pledge and Vermilion Knight costume are kind of the same theme as, like, Phoenix's original costume. So it's like you're buying, like, this full set of costumes. I don't know, something like that, I guess. So I decided to go with, like, full support Valkyrie Pledge. Uh, she should actually be Sukuno Rondo, but I need the Valkyrie Pledge's leader skill. So... Yeah, let's see how it goes. She has, like, the Sonata and, uh, Elemental Support. Whoa! Did you see that? 71,000 fire damage in one hit. That is... freaking insane. Nice. This is a good combo right here. So if there is... So maybe you can fit Sukuna Rondo in, but then you'll have to use, like, a uh, Vermilion Knight as the leader. You could use Phoenix, but you'd only be getting, like, attack speed, so that's something to consider. So this team so far has been working out really well. I kind of really want to use the Sukuna Rondo passive. But I guess the Valkyrie Pledge's leader skill actually makes up for it. Also, Valkyrie Pledge has another advantage over Sakuno Rondo, and that's that she can activate Time Fracture. Oh yeah, that's a really, really good fire team. Alright, so this boss is a psychic type, which the Vermilion Knight is weak against, but we do have 50% more fire damage, so I think I'm just gonna give it a try. Anyway, you can always try it again to improve your score. So let's see the power of a fire team with a 50% boost, um, despite a type weakness. So I guess the increase in fire damage is really helping me out, because look at that. Timing isn't too bad. I'm thinking I might end off like maybe 690 or 720, I don't know. Um, let's, let's see if I can pull this one off. So I'm trying to delay, I was trying to delay the ultimate so that I could activate the QTE for Vermilion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I can activate the QTE for Vermilion Knight, but still... Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, so Rita on Helmaru in the Memorial Arena. I'm just going like for a full Rita team, just for a showcase. This isn't the best team combination, but it's kind of fun, you know, to kind of see three different battle suits of the same character being used together. I'm 
So I'm going to end up this video with the final stage of the Stalker Files and uh, I hope this has shown you at least a little bit of what the Argent Knight can do and help you decide on whether or not you want to be pulling for her. Please remember that you have been seeing an S rank Argent Knight so I'm not too sure how much stronger the triple S Argent Knight will be. Uh, maybe you know she's one of those Valkyries that gets stronger only at double or triple S. Uh, but at this point in time, I'm not too sure as to what game mode she will be a complete game changer. So getting her isn't like getting some super OP Valkyrie like the Hershey of the Void or even Shadow Knight. She's basically just, uh, you know, a fun addition to your game. And if that's all the reason that you need to be pulling for some Valkyrie, then go ahead. But if you're only pulling for stuff that you need, then you don't really need her at this point in time. So it might be a better option if you just sit this one out and wait for a repeat in the expansion, just so that you can get a grasp of how useful she will be in the future. Because building s rank Valkyries nowadays, it's really not easy. You have to go for like their full equipment to really pull out their potential. Uh, for this one though, it might not be as bad because if you do get her weapon first, then you'll probably just need a Nohime full set. Uh, even if you don't get her weapon, maybe you could use the anti-entropy one and uh, yeah, just use a Nohime full set as well. Or maybe even a Hubble set if you really don't have that, but I mean, Nohime has been around for a really long time, so it's more than likely that most players already have at least some part of that set. Also, it's available in the exchange house, so yeah, that might make her viable, but um, she's really not an essential Valkyrie battle suit at this point in time. So that's all for this video. I hope I covered enough uh, for the Argent Knight Showcase and the Himeko Vermilion Knight New Costume Showcase. So this has been MG. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you guys soon.